Welcome back. This is the second and last uh, part of the overview of BodyTrack Lite um, Android software. So I'm live uh, scanning on the right screen as you can see. Center of pressure and everything moving as I move. And then you have risk on the right and I've accelerated it so you can see it here. Uh, and uh, so this was a 15 times acceleration. I've since switched it back to one time. We'll talk about that in settings. I want to show you uh, quickly just how you can make a uh, quick report. So if the square up here is solid, that's just the single display and I can do snapshots. I can take a picture, identify it however you wish. OK. Uh, and or I can click here and I get four snapshots organized. So if I say start comparison, it's going to ask for some information about me. And then uh, it's four steps. So what we recommend is a picture of the old cushion they're on. And uh, take a picture of that as they normally sit. And then we recommend on a mat table, just so you see all the bony bits and where they are. For instance, are they asymmetric or not? And then you might want to choose, uh, say, a standard foam cushion. And see what that looks like. And perhaps last, we're going to try an air cushion, which is a popular choice. The idea is to, to kind of bracket the possible solutions and uh, hopefully if they really need an air, air uh, cushion you can demonstrate that giving them a foam one is not going to be a very good solution. And now you have a, quick, a very quick uh, four up display of the solutions you worked with and some of the statistics that go with it. You can turn this into a PDF and share it with others uh, that may need it, whether it's caregivers, physicians, or funders. Okay, now that we've done that, we'll go back and just take a quick look at the settings. And under settings, you have uh, maintain weight, which is used for longer term monitoring the patient in the wheelchair. It normalizes the force over time. It's required that you input d weight to do that. The rule of thumb is usually 60% of the person's weight in the seated position. Um, and then you have timer duration. You can change this anytime you like by just clicking, uh, as well as any of these other fields, putting the new number in and then saying OK. Yes, we're using a data port. We're in wireless mode with a BodyTrack 2 sensor right now. You can use PSI units if you want. For instance, in bicycle seats, uh, the, they would like PSI units typically, and they want to go up to 40 PSI. Also, we have um, we have a uh, sensor rotation here. We talked about that before. And here's risk threshold. That's the Resic Rogers curve. Anything over five millimeters will start to show on the screen. And I've set that multiplier back to one, which is normal. Center pressure is a little a circle on the screen that represents their center pressure on the cushion. And then the length of that uh, black tail. You can make it longer if you like. And sensing area in uh, metric if you want. Um, Europeans like that, of course, or the rest of the world, actually, other than the U.S. Uh, and then version of uh, the software you're using on the tablet. So that's a very quick overview of the uh, Android um, Body Track Lite software. Um, again, when you rotate, whichever perspective works better for you. So again, this is a, this is a, a bit of a um, lighter weight, uh, easier to use version of a pressure mapping system. And if you have any uh, further questions about that, feel free to call us and we'll be happy to explain any features or how to get started with the system. Thanks for your time. Take care.